Alright, well, here I am, bright and early, 8 in the morning on a nice day, about 33 degrees, light wind, should be a nice day for hawk walking, kind of cloudy right now, and that's fine with me. Uh, I'm in Westfield, and I'm taking up where I left off yesterday, hoping to get uh, down towards Packwaukee today. I gotta watch out this sidewalk. It's got some icy spots. Either go around them or walk pretty carefully. But yeah, Westfield's a nice little town. Really like it. Oop, just slipped again. So I'm heading south in Westfield, and uh, Westfield is where the suggested route for the CR, the connecting route, uh, turns uh, to the east and then goes southeast towards Montello. It goes quite a ways east, and yeah, that's what I'm saving by just going straight south is that eastward uh, trek can out and back to Montello. Montello is a beautiful little town, so it's worth going to whether you walk through it or not. That's really icy here, you gotta be careful. But I'll be getting out of town here pretty soon and then just heading on County Road M, almost all the way to Packwaukee. And it, uh, M crosses over the freeway at some point because 39 runs parallel with this road uh, over uh, maybe less than a mile. So it should be a pleasant walk. We'll see. Just leaving Westfield now and uh, we go straight on M here. Coming to like a view of a valley up ahead and like a nice uh, undulating road. It will be nice, nice residential for a while, and then uh, maybe some wooded areas after that. Got a really hazy sun today. I kind of like walking in these conditions. Nice little hobby farm here, huh? For some reason, they've taken all these big trees down along the road here. Saw a couple before now, too. Uh, I don't know what's it's disease or they're sick of branches falling on the road or I what the deal is, but another oh, curiosity of the trail. Looks like we're coming to some uh, creek or something here see what we get. All right, there it is. Looks like the meltwater is kicking in here and it's flowing well. To a floodplain area, a little backwater. And there is Clowder Creek. Nice. Well, here's where uh, County Road M takes a left and goes uh, straight east here and goes over the freeway. And then it'll be on the other side of the road going south from there. Well, here's the overpass to the freeway, Interstate 39. Still got a hazy sun going today. Now this will bring us to the east side of the interstate and we'll kind of walk parallel with it for quite a while. Yeah, 39's a good road. Yeah, I waved and he beat. All right, 
Now let's get back to it here. Well, this is a pleasant walk on this side of the freeway. Some really nice fields with pine forests sprinkled here and there. Homesteads on the other side of the road. There's the freeway down there. So we got the freeway noise, but the, the views are good. Looks like we're coming to a plant entrance. I wonder what kind of plants they are, like gardenias or who knows. Looks like we got a clogged culvert on this little driveway. Nothing coming out the other side. So I made it to uh, Highway 23. I believe this is called Montello Corners. I'm not sure about that. There's the Crossroads Chateau and that's got hamburgers and such. And we go straight across and go to Pakwaki up this way is the freeway and in between here and the freeway is the uh, Cozy cabins or something like that. We stayed in last night. It was very nice Reasonably priced So I got to get across this busy road um, Well, the other thing last night we went uh, north about five miles north of uh, Westfield and had supper at the uh, um, what was it called? The Woods uh, Supper Club. Had a really nice meal there. So, I got about, uh, I don't know what it is, a little less than two miles to go to get the Pakwaki. So let's do it. I noticed somebody else's footprints here. So somebody else hiked this uh, not too long ago because would have been since the last snowfall, I suppose. So maybe this is a popular route for the eastern bifurcation, or there's just a local out walking. Who knows? All right, so this sign says Packwaukee, take a left. This must be Liberty Avenue. Looks like the paint is worn off the street sign, so let's check the other side of it. I think it's just a short walk from here into Pakwaki, around that corner up ahead. Yeah, Liberty Street. We're good to go. All right, I've made it to where I'm going to stop my hike today. Uh, just down this road ahead is the bridge that goes over Buffalo Lake, and that'll be my next uh, hike. Uh, I decided to meet my ride at the library, which is only uh, less than half a block off the, the, my route. So that's handy. And the library does have a bike rack. So, uh, next time if I'm bike shuttling, I've got a place to put my bike or if somebody else wants to do that, there is a, a rack there. Looks like I got uh, 9.5 miles in today. So that's all I've got for today. I'll see you next time when I continue hiking the eastern bifurcation of the Ice Age Trail. Bye.